And Mo, thanks for having me at your training session in uh, Sierra Nevada. Uh, how has the training camp uh, for Mo been so far? How long has he been up here for? Okay, you have a So he's been here for a month. For one month? Yes. Okay, and how long is the total training camp? One <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he still has 10 more days. 10 more days, yes. okay. And today the weather is very uh, rainy and grey outside. So we're going to do a very quick warm up. And uh, what, is the, what is the training session that Samo will do today? So he has 20 times. 400 meters, mm -hmm. and I think he's gonna rest 30 seconds. 30 seconds only? Yes. Okay, I would like you to say to Mo that that's a very short rest for this altitude, and uh, what is his opinion about this? Because uh, obviously in the high altitude, it's, uh, it's more difficult to recover, but this is very, very short. Te está preguntando de tu recuperación, porque va a ser solo de 30 segundos, y que piensas de una recuperación tan corta en altitud. So he's actually just letting you guys know that this is one of the hardest practices that he'll do. Oh, okay. uh, especially given the fact that he's doing them at like 1718 pace. Yeah, 107, 108, that yes. is the goal. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we'll go outside to warm up. Thank you so much yes. for translating, by the way, today. No I really worries. appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, testing. It's quite slippery, huh? Yeah. What are the two options? Do you know the names of these two shoes or should we go and find out? I actually don't. <laughs> we'll go and find out. I know one of them is a prototype. Okay. Are we allowed to show that? No, no, está. Ay, no, you can show. I'm oh, okay, sorry. no worries, we won't show. Es que me han dicho que no. Um, like they told him, please don't show the prototype. But this one you can show. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? Está la Meta Speed. Meta Speed Sky. Meta Speed Hedge. Hedge, yes. Okay. Yes. Es muy bueno. ¿Te gusta? Y con este tiempo las puedes poner. Sí, pero como la pista está en mal estado. So the problem is that not que only is it raining, but no. it's quite slippery. Yes. So I ran, I ran before on the track with these, and it's fine. Okay. But I don't know if it's uh, going to be a pass. Yes. Okay. What, what is the uh, last question here? What is Mo's preferred uh, shoe for for warming up and running? What are your favorite shoes for calendar? Ah, this is the. The Nova Blast 3, o sea, me gusta muchísimo. So, the Nova Blast 3. Nova Blast 3. Yes. Por la suela que es muy cómoda a la hora de impacto, para mí no me carga las piernas. Sí. Mostly for the sole, because, like, it reduces the impact. Right. So, yeah. Okay. And who do we have training with Mo today, or at least warming up? Uh, we have Alvaro de Arriba. He's an 800 meter athlete. He's okay. also Spanish. Yes, okay. And I don't think he's doing the same workout though. Or um, we'll no, see. I don't think so. Okay. At some point, they will be on the track at the same time, but yes. not doing the same workout. Okay, cool. Okay, so they're just doing some dynamic exercises. So we we're talking before about how. Mo has quite a few options to go to altitude, right. and uh, you know Sierra Nevada is where he's been quite a few times. Um, how come he likes to come here as opposed to other places like Kenya or something like that? 
Hmm. Good question. I think, first of all, it's quite high, mm -hmm. like in terms of altitude. And not only 2, that. About 2,400, I think. Close. I think so, yes. yes. Around that. Mm. And also, it's quite quiet. So really, here you can just focus on running. I feel like, you know, most of his days, they're scheduled around the practices and there are no distractions. So, he really likes being here. Yeah. You will find him here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So now you're going to be in the landmark SFN. Mm -hmm. You're going to be training for a long time today. So what is the uh, what is the preference of the hydration here? ¿Qué estás bebiendo? Pues sales minerales con BCA y los sales minerales tienen pues hidratos de carbono que eso me viene bien para para hacer series. Okay, wait. <laughs> He's just drinking a pre-workout. Like this is his sponsored um, nutrition brand. And it's just a, like a carbohydrate drink. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And he will have that during the workout. También lo bebes mientras estás entrenando o solo al inicio. Sí, también. O sea, las dos cosas. Right. So he'll be drinking it before and during the workout. Okay. Cool. And does he have anything afterwards, like protein or anything? Cuando terminas, bebes algo. Sí, proteína. Recovery. Oh, yeah. He'll drink a recovery shake with protein. Okay. And while we're, while we're on the topic of nutrition, what is Mo's pre-workout uh, meal? Like, what will he eat in the morning? Oh. Y antes de entrenar, ¿qué comes? Antes. Sí, por ejemplo, el desayuno. What is preferred for? He said it's really difficult workout, so what's the preference for something? Right. <laughs> so, I know some of those words. Really? Cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he'll be drinking coffee, orange juice for breakfast, um, and like toast with honey and cheese and eggs. Nice. Yes. So quite full. Cool. <laughs> and uh, does he know what the workout is of uh, his uh, Spanish? <laughs> he's actually not really sure because he's just, you know, minding his own business okay. as he, he put it. Um, but he will have, I think, 800 meters. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but he also said, feel free to ask him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> So no, last time we filmed you, you were with a group of athletes, and today you are by yourself. Uh, what is your what is your preference? Do you prefer to train in a group or with uh, you're just by yourself? Es que de la última vez que te han hecho un video estabas con tu grupo de entrenamiento y te está preguntando si prefieres entrenar con el grupo o solo. Es que yo llevo toda mi vida entrenando solo, pero cuando estoy en grupo se me hace más fácil. So he's actually been, you know, practicing ever since he started out by himself. Of course, he said like the practice get, does go by quicker when he has like a group, um, and he would like to have a group, but most of his friends are actually working, so they couldn't be here. So this practice will be just him. Okay. So the black and white socks are out, which means that it's serious business. Is that right? Definitely. Okay. Like I don't know if you've noticed, Katiki always competes with one white sock and another black sock. Okay, so today, today we're going to be testing some lap tape as well. And we're going to be doing it, did you say, after the 10? 10? We're going to do a set of 10, two sets of 5. 
Yes. And oh. testing after that. Okay. Yes. Let's go. So Mo said the shoes are quite slippery. Yes. And for That's that to slow reason, down a little bit. to slow down the pace a yeah, little bit. To about 109. Yes. Okay. Change of plans, we're doing it after five. Quite low, actually. I think for that yes. pace.
is fine. Yes. Yep. Just the track is really slippery. <laughs> Be three minutes now. Okay. After ten. Yes. Yes. What does he think his lactate will be now? Um qual crees que va salir el valor? No sé. He doesn't know. <laughs> I reckon five point one. And what is oh. it? He's been running. The times? Uh, in the intervals. Um, Approximately 109. I think 109. Yes. Uh, what does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean? Nada. 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 Maybe it's not enough blood, perhaps. Oh. Yeah. I think that sometimes. No, I sang the sufficient radio. Sorry. Like, have you ever seen those? Uh, I've seen it take an error before, but uh, normally it's because there's like not enough blood there, but it looks like you have enough, so hmm. maybe it's some problem with the machine. Sure. It is freezing cold. Maybe it's too cold for the machine. Joder, pues nada, para próximo. It's not working. And we're not really sure why. If anyone knows what's happening there, write a comment. <laughs> Could it be because of the weather? Maybe, I have no, yeah, I have no idea. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Tiene que saber si hay un triángulo. Es que sale esto. Temperatura, sí. Intenta meter en el bolsillo un rato. Okay, we just realized. Lo que hago en el bolso. It's because it's freezing cold. Okay. So this is the warning. Um, I'm going to put it in my pocket. Yes. So it was as simple as that. Te lo mido yo, quieres. I'm going to put it in my pocket. A la siguiente. Vale, pues venga. A la siguiente te lo cojo yo, ¿vale? Vale, vale, gracias. Nada, no hay problema. Yo tengo tiras ahí. Tengo, tengo, no pasa nada. Todos días así. Experience too. We have a backup lactate meter here. So, next time... Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the Alvaro's coach will do it. Okay, perfect. So we don't get the warning. And what is the workout for Alvaro? Um... ¿Cuál es el entrenamiento de Álvaro? Así... Eh, hemos estado haciendo 800... Ah, ah, hoy. Sí. Hoy es eh, 2x5 por 800 metros. 2x5, 800 metros. 10, 800. 2 sets of 5. Yes. ¿Cuál es el ritmo, más o menos? El ritmo es aeróbico. Estamos hablando de a 3, 10 el 1000. Ok. 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 Ok.
en la siguiente. Siguiente macro, ¿no? Sí. Vale. Es que hace frío ahora. Hace frío, sí. El día está complicado. It is freezing cold. Estamos a dos mil de altitud. Niebla, lluvia. La pista resbala. Capi, es un día duro hoy, pero que va a servir para mucho. Ya verás. One more rush, then we have tested. After the 15th. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Can I see the screen? 2.9. 2.9? Yes. Oh, it's really low. This is one of the toughest days out here. <laughs> Five to go. Yes. And then the same lunch you have every single day. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a reference to uh, Gustav Eden's video in Sierra Nevada. They have the same meal every day here. But he likes it, huh? Apparently. Yes. It's chicken and pasta? Uh, oh. Yes, or rice. Rice, yes. But he finds it very healthy, so... Okay. Vamos. Do we have any idea of the times, or it's roughly been about 109 every time? I think it should be around the same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's quite difficult, you know, to pick up your speed. Yes. Because it's very slippery. It's and very then slippery. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's probably like, what do you, what's the temperature? Do we know? It's probably close to you. five. Yeah. Probably close to five, yes. Yeah. I don't know if you have data. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 
Only one left. <laughs> <laughs> As suggested, we have we have it here. Hopefully it works. Espera que ponga la gota. A ver si hay suerte. Oh, <laughs> well done. It's very low. Nice. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Does he know the time of the last one? Sabes cuál ha sido el tiempo de la última repetición? Ah, entre uno seis uno siete. Ah, so in between one zero six and six and one zero seven. Yes, the the last five. Yes. Okay. Pasa que hace mucho frío, mucho viento con la niebla y la humedad se me se me ha hecho muy duro y encima como la pista está en mal estado. <laughs> so he said everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. <laughs> so like the track is very slippery, yes. it is very windy, humidity wise, it's, it's not that great either. No, it's very high. It's very cold. Yes. It is freezing cold yes. actually. But he pulled it through. Still a very good workout. Yes. Tell him thanks so much for letting me join. Uh, te está diciendo muchas gracias y que has hecho un buen entrenamiento. Gojar o Gorjón. Ah, Porto Lima. No, that's not Porto Lima, is it? Go hard or go home. Yeah, Porto Lima is just something similar. Actually, Porto Lima says go hard or suffer for the rest of your life. That's right. Mm. Right one. Yes. Good job.